Welcome to ISTV News. This is Panorama giving you the news. Let's see the top stories. Court of Session Just Manipur is orders release of Iram Janu Sarmila and tobacco free campaign loans. The news in detail. The Court of Session Just Manipur East has passed a judgment that the charges framed against Irom Janu Sarmila are untenable and baseless and ordered that she should be released at once. Conveying this judgment of the court to the media persons at the office of Old Manipur Bar Association AMBA at Uripok Chairaf Court, its president, senior advocate Kaide Mani said that Sarmila was released from the judicial custody on the 13th of March this year. But she resumed her protests of fast. Police arrested her the next day. She was sent to the judicial custody once again. On behalf of the petitioner, Kaide Mani himself filed a revision case in the court of Chief Judicial Magistrate Imphal East. Public prosecutor Salam Indira said that Sarmila's protest of fast was an attempt to commit suicide. Salam Indira placed a report including the charge sheet frame against her in the court saying that she should be detained under IPC section 309. The CGM Imphal is considered the charge and ordered her detention in the judicial custody. Protesting the ruling of the CGM, the petitioner filed a revision case in the court of session just Manipur East. Session Judge A. Guneshwar Sarma today observed that there is no question of committing suicide in the protest of Sarmila. Her movement is only for demanding repeal of the law armed for a special power ache, the court observed, and ordered her release at once. Senior advocate Mani further said that some people get confused as regards the false protest of Sarmila and interpret her protest wrongly. It is not a movement for killing herself, but for removal of APSPA. In fact, repealing the law and removing it completely from the book of law is what she exactly wants. She may not give up her protest movement even after APSPA is removed from Manipur, but if it is enforced in other place. What Samila wants is complete repeal of APSPA, which destroys human rights, advocate Mani said. Quota, Pangiba, Lady Ba, Recorta, Lady Ba, Metal Sing, Aduga Public Prosecution, the High River Sing, Aduga Makagi Court Natari, or the Ser, as a Kupna in Arabakanda, Petitioner Kill, a Queen Hyba Sukum Natara of Matunda, High River, three zero nine, attempt to commit suicide, Hyba Section Ser, Masigi, the Char Semming I Retre, Machar Semma Chunde, Aduna. Makagi court na tariba order the judicial master in Paris na Jun Marida Samila ke matata sa semgani 309 IPC makata hai riba do set aside tore adu kathale adu ga JLSP da OPC tha da na pa tha do na ba adu ga the judicial master in Paris da tha do na bigi mari le na ba hukum ta na na ba hai riba order se na khanali Health Minister Funjatang Ton Singh has asserted that if the young students are made aware of the harmful effects of using tobacco, then it will be very helpful in banning tobacco products in the state. He said these at inaugural function of one day campaign for tobacco free not ease and regional workshop on NTCP organized by Department of Health and Family Welfare at the Jubilee Hall of Reims today. As part of the function, a procession was taken out from Kangla Gate to Reims Jubilee Hall. The main function held at Jubilee Hall was attended by Health Minister A. Bijoy, Additional Director, Ministry of Health, Swasti Charan. Many officials of health service, doctors and nurses took part in the function. A mass or to abstain from tobacco was taken during the function. Speaking at the function, additional director Swasti Charan said, In India, the rate of using tobacco by women is more than that of men. It is high time all people abstain from tobacco, he said. In his speech, Minister Funjatang Ton Singh said, In using tobacco products, Manipur is leading in India. In fact, 50% of the total population of the state is using tobacco. Tobacco is one of the most dangerous things that has been very injurious to the mankind, he opined. 
the health minister appealed to the people to understand the harmful effects of using tobacco and join hands in a fight against tobacco. Education in Siusan Singh Asu, Sikurda, Kolele di Thuda, Sikur Kolele da, Thuda, Masi ki tobacco si, Tauroi da wani hape si, Sikur Siren Singh Asu tapi gade wani, Kolele da su tapi gade wani, Adil khai ni su Sikurda puba ya roi, Sipe puba ya roi, Zara puba ya roi, Eko ya, ate ite, Sikumba, Ye mari le na ba, Singh Sidi, Eko ya, Sekunda kolej dah pukul yang orang hai na. Education department nasu pada nak kena toba dalam kali ini. A 17-year-old boy was injured in a bomb explosion that occurred near Thakur Mandir, Mantripukri, around 12:30 a.m. yesterday. The injured boy has been identified as Kunal Sahu, son of Sunil Sahu from Mantripukri. He is studying in class 10. Sahu sustained injuries near his right armpit in the blast. He is now undergoing treatment at Ras Madi City, not AOC. His condition is out of danger. Meanwhile, it is not yet known who planted a bomb and why. A two-day program on consultation of community of Northeast State on Community Testing and World Health Organization 2013 Guidelines of HIV Hepatitis Treatment organized jointly by MNP Plus, NCPI Plus, Manipur AIDS Control Society and APN Plus sponsored by Asia Pacific Network of PL HIV, AIDS and APN Plus has begun from today at Hotel Classic. Project Director of Max, Dr. S.K. Chaurasia, General Secretary of NCPI Plus, Manoj Pradesi, Joint Director of Max, Abiram Mongjam, and many representatives of Northeastern states and NGOs took part in the opening function. Talking to the ISTV News, President of MNP Plus, Deepak said, the alarming situation in the state is the people's low participation in the testing HIV and Hepatitis C. People think that if they are found positive in the test, what the society will think of them. Besides, people are hesitant and reluctant to test for such diseases, he said. At this critical juncture, people should go for check early if they have any doubt about such diseases. He further said the main objective of organizing the program is to check whether the 2013 guidelines of World Health Organization on HIV and Hepatitis are implemented in the northeastern states or not. The program will definitely get certain positive result to the society, he said. 2014 groups me Koyi family sex wakai yau ya koyi ngasih kita. Amadi MSM yau re, koyi transgender sing yau re, adi injecting drug users yau re, aduga tongan tongan ba, aisyah bi possible orang kiba guru maya mama koyi noy nampak kau re. Now the national and national news. Taking a step further towards scrapping the planning commission, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today invited ideas for the people on the new institution to replace the planned body. The government also announced creation of a special open forum on the website mygov.nic.in for suggestions on a new institution. We envision the proposed institution as one that caters to the aspirations of 21st century India and strengthens participation of the states. A special open forum has been created on mygov for suggestions on the new institution. Let ideas flow, Modi tweeted. Modi had announced during his Independence Day speech that the Soviet-style planning commission will be scrapped soon. There is more bad news for cigarette smokers as there could soon be an age limit for smokers. Three months into being in power, the Narendra Modi government is working on curbing the consumption of tobacco products. 
after raising taxes on cigarettes and calling for a countrywide ban on sale of tobacco products. The center is considering banning branding on cigarette packets, raising the age limit on tobacco consumption to 25 years from the present 18 years and substantively increasing penalties for smoking in public. Health Minister Hurst Burden had constituted a committee of experts last month to suggest changes to the cigarettes and other tobacco products ache 2003. The report is expected by the end of this month. The centre has instructed the neutral forces deployed at Assam Nagaland border in Golaghat district of Assam to take steps to ensure peace so that villagers can return home from relief camps. Around 7,500 people have taken shelter at relief camps at Uriam Ghat and Shorupatar following the killing and arson by Naga militants. The Assam government had expressed displeasure on late inaction of the CRPF to contain the situation. Meanwhile, police cleared the rot blockade at Rangajan area in Golagat district early this morning. Several organizations were holding blockage of roads, preventing movement of vehicles in protest of the killing of innocent people at Uriam Ghat. Police also detained several protesters. Following this, several organizations called for indefinite bond in Golagat district to protest against the police action. Hyderabad and all towns in Telangana went totally deserted today, with the state government declaring a holiday to enable people to remain at home and participate in the household survey. The usually busy roads in Hyderabad were empty as public transport and even auto rickshaws went off the road. Government offices, educational institutions, shops, petrol banks, hotels, cinema halls and all other business establishments were shut down as the government warned the private institutions of action for violating holiday orders. It exempted only emergency services. In Uttar Pradesh, the death toll in flood-related incidents has risen to 49 in the state. Thousands of persons have been affected by the crisis triggered by overflowing rivers even as monsoon rainfall declined in the northeastern region and Nepal. In Bihar, the flood situation in several districts remains grim though many rivers have started receding. According to disaster management officials, nine casualties have been reported till now. Twelve districts are still affected where administration is carrying out relief and rescue work through NDRF and SDRF. There is no improvement in flood condition in Lower Assam. Around 150 villages in Barpeta and Morigaon districts are delirts in flood. However, flood situation has slightly improved in Upper Assam areas. The flood water has submerged above 700 villages in 15 districts of the state. Over 3,45,000 people have been affected in the current surge of water. The United States has said it was unfortunate that the Indo-Pakistan Foreign Secretary level talks have fallen through and asked border countries to take steps to improve bilateral ties irrespective of what happened. It is unfortunate that planned talks between India and Pakistan have fallen through, U.S. State Department Deputy Spokesperson Mary Herb said. We continue to support efforts by India and Pakistan to improve all aspects of their bilateral relations. And that is a position we will continue making clear to both parties here, she said in response to a question. Well, that's all we have for now. But before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top stories once more. Court of Session Judge Manipur is orders release of Irom Janu Sarmila and tobacco free campaign loans. Thanks for watching our news and for more updates, please stay tuned.